In this tutorial I want to talk about hammer source map construction. So before we go in and start creating our environments I want to show you the basics of a hammer source map. How it's constructed, what elements are used and how everything comes together. So launch the editor. So I'm going to open a couple of source files that are included with the authoring tools for Left 4 Dead 2. So here are the three maps that we're going to take a look at. Style Guide Semi-Urban, Style Guide Swamp, and Style Guide Urban. So I am going to first open Style Guide Urban. Here we are inside one of Valve's maps. And this is the basic construction of one of Valve's maps. We are inside a very similar environment as you see in the Parish campaign and what I want to show you is how this environment is constructed. Now there are two basic elements that make up this entire map. They are brushes and entities. Brushes are basic building blocks of your environment. You see them here as I'm highlighting them. They make up sometimes the majority, other times a very small percentage of the map. So even if your environment consists of nothing else but terrain, which is actually basically a BSP brush converted into a terrain object, a terrain entity. Uh, even if you have nothing but terrain and entities, you still need a BSP brush that blocks you off from the rest of the environment, which is the black void. This is the urban type of environment, which consists mainly of brushes. And if we go to under Viz Groups, under Outer, just like as we discussed in the basics of our tutorial, we can see that source automatically creates viz groups inside and puts various entities, elements, world details, brushes inside their own visibility groups. So I'm going to turn up everything except our BSP geometry. So here we have our very basic BSP geometry, which makes up the majority of this environment, of this urban setting. And if I navigate around you can see the basic shell of this map. So this is the first part of creating maps inside Hammer. So if you are creating more of an urban type of environment, majority of your environment is going to be made up using brushes. And now we can begin to turn on entities. Now entities are various gameplay elements, detail such as world models, such as you see here, chairs, overhang, little detail elements here, the top here of the, on the roof, cars, and if we navigate here we see our gameplay elements, which are player starts, which are various entities for sunlight, and visual entities that define how our map looks. So BSP and various entities make up this map. Now let's open up another one. Let's open up the swamp. Now this is more rural area. This is more woods, swamps. Uh, there's not much of BSP geometry that you're going to see. If we go into our viz groups and we turn and we leave on world geometry and we turn off our tool brushes, we're going to turn off our entities and we're going to turn off our world detail. Now all we're left with is the displacement, brushes which make up the illusion of trees in the background, our skybox and our water planes which are just basic BSP geometry with water texture applied on top of it. So as you can see here with more of a nature like environment majority of the environment is going to be made up of entities. So if we begin to turn on our props and our function detail which makes up pretty much all of our environment and how it looks. All of these boards, trees, and various structures are simply either models that were imported inside Hammer Editor or their function details which are brushes which were turned into a function detail which basically says that Hammer Source renders these function detail brushes as models. So even though this environment is made up of majority of entities, many of these entities started off as brushes and if we turn on the rest of our entities which we have here are point entities, sprites, brush entities and various lights. We can see that the rest of our environment 
comes together into what we see here. So let's turn this off and let's open our last map which is style guide semi-urban. Now before I'm gonna go turn off our visibility groups let's just go through and I'm just gonna point out various elements. So here we have our models which are just entities which are called prop static. They're just simple 3D models imported inside Hammer. So all these entities that I'm clicking on now are prop static or prop physic or other props that were imported inside Hammer. Here we have our car which is another 3D model. So here's another location and let's turn off everything except for world geometry. Again world geometry is our brushes and our displacements including the sky and everything else such as models and game player entities are going to be turned off. So you see the shell of the environment is made up of very basic geometric shapes. Very simple brushes that make up the environment. This is what you want to start with. When you are creating your environment you want to start off with this bare essentials. You want to have your terrain blocked in, you want to have your main shell of the environment created using brushes. Then as you begin to detail your environment you will begin to detail your environment using entities which are the rest of the environment. They include world models such as 3D models you see here as well as function details and again what function details are brushes that are more complex than simple shapes that we saw before and because they're complex geometric shapes they were turned into function details. When complex brushes get turned into a function detail they become 3D models which makes the compiler inside source a lot easier to render. So even though we get to see a lot of 3D models which were used inside another 3D package and then imported in here there are many function details which started off as brushes and then got converted into a function detail. So when you begin to create your environments inside Hammer Source majority of your environment is going to be created using world brushes simple brushes that define the shell, the core of your environment. So once you have your BSP geometry blocked in and then as you begin to detail you will use 3D models you see here to detail your environment or complex brushes and then convert them to a function detail you see here. And to convert them to a function detail is very simple you would just simply select the brush that you want to have as a function detail and then you would simply click to entity and it would convert it for you. So there's no outside 3D application that you need to export them to. Everything is done inside the hammer editor. And for more of a nature-like environment such as here in the swamps you would still be using a lot of brushes to create some of your environment. Majority will be done with displacement and 3D models but as you see here this little hut is a function detail. This is a complex structure of various brushes that were grouped together and created into a function detail which turns them into a 3D model inside Hammer Source. So if I simply take this function detail and I convert it back into brushes and now I'm simply selecting the brushes that were used to create a more complex geometry shape. 